Good day and welcome back to Coach Creek. A lot of our viewers have requested some videos on drills you can do at home since they are in lockdown at this point in time. So we've decided to split it up into a four week cycle. We'll be releasing one video every week for the next four weeks with drills that can help you out with your batting, bowling and fielding. What you'll need for this session will be some cones or any visual aid. You can use shoes, whatever you want. You'll need your gloves and your bat. We're gonna start this session off by doing some shadow drives. We're gonna focus predominantly on the front foot for now. So what you'll need for this is your gloves, you'll need your bat, a point of reference, and maybe a mirror. If you don't have a mirror at home that you can actually watch yourself bat in, you can use your phone to record you and then play back and obviously watch if you're doing a drive. So for this, we're gonna be focusing on the biomechanics of the drive. You start off with straight drives, then progress to cover drives, and then progress to on drives. We are going to be doing 36 of each, and after that, we have completed one set and we can progress from there. If you are struggling with the shot, go check it out on our channel. We've got a full video on the drive. I'll link it down in the description below. Okay, so for the drive, a couple of important things. We wanna make sure we push our head to the ball. That's where our point of reference comes in. So we're gonna pretend this is our contact point and this is where we're gonna meet the ball. Foot to the ball, head over the point of contact, right? My head is nice and over this cone, so now I've got that point right. My front knee is bent, my back leg is straight. From here, my back's straight. This point in time, we wanna make sure that the hands go nice up and back. This generates a nice full swing. And from there, we can keep our shape and push through the point of contact all the way to the top. That's one. Let's do 36. Next up, we're gonna look at the biomechanics of a cover drive. It's very similar to a straight drive. You can have a slightly bigger stride here because your contact point could be slightly behind your pad on this one. Let's quickly have a look. So same thing, make sure our foot and head goes towards the point of contact. Got our head over again, very nice and over the point of contact. Hands back, nice full swing through the shot all the way to the top, making sure the back leg's straight, making sure our weight is nice and forward. Right, let's get to it, 36. The last one we're going to be looking at is the on drive. I'm going to quickly give you a rundown of the biomechanics. With on drive, we've got a much smaller stride because we want to have access to our hands. So we're going to just open up the front foot, push our head nice and far forward. Again, head over the point of contact, but now we've got all this space for hands to come through. So there, bend that front knee, hands nice and up. From there, we can go through and finish our shot. Now we progress to our final batting drill of the day. And that would be to get nice and big full swings through the line of the ball. We are not going to be hitting balls today. We are just gonna make sure our swing biomechanics are good. So let's quickly give a run of the swing biomechanics. For this, we're still gonna have our point of contact. Let's put it in line with our front foot. From here, we're gonna keep our feet nice and still, open the front foot a little bit, and we're just gonna make sure it's a nice big golf swing. So far back, nice and up, all the way through to the back. Making sure that we keep our knees still, our head still, and a nice elongated swing all the way from the top, all the way around, all the way to the top again. We are gonna do 36 of this as well. What you would have noticed, specifically with this, is that although with the drives, we are on the instep of the foot, with the, with the swing throughs, we're gonna twist it a little bit. This forms an L shape. It means our hip is popping through a little bit and generates a bit more power. Now that we've covered the batting segment of this video, let's cover the bowling segment. What you'll need for this, again, some peripherals. And what we're gonna do is the following. 
You're gonna put a couple of cones down, a couple of shoes, whatever you wanna use, and you're just gonna form a straight line with it. So what we're gonna do from this point is, we're gonna line up in our action, and we're gonna do some shadow bowling. Our key points here, make sure that we're working in straight lines, so you don't need a big space in your yard or in your house. That's all they will do. We're gonna make sure that our alignment's good. We're gonna make sure that our front arm, front leg balance is good, right? So everything lined up towards our target. I'm a seam bowler, so this will be my lineup. If you're a spinner, find yours. From that point on, we're gonna work forward towards our target and follow through. We are going to do 24 of these, so let's get started. Now that we've completed our bowling segment, we're gonna move on to our last segment, which will help improve our fielding. We're gonna focus on hand-eye coordination, focusing on peripheral vision. So for today's session, all we're gonna be doing is some juggling. You need three balls of any kind. And all you're gonna do is have two in your dominant hand, one in your not dominant hand, and you're gonna start off tossing one from the dominant, following one with, from the non-dominant, from the non-dominant hand. We're just gonna do this, get the rhythm going, Keep catching and passing. Do this until you feel comfortable, then we're gonna move on to doing it on one leg to improve our balance. So once we're on one leg, we're gonna do the same thing. Now I'm focusing a little bit with our mind on our balance, obviously, while trying to watch all the balls, using our peripheral vision, catching the ball and releasing. Okay, so let's quickly show juggling in slow-mo, just so you guys can get the grip of it. Right, left, 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 done. Thank you so much for joining us for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave us a like below, consider subscribing, hit the bell notification, and share the videos with your friends. Also, leave us a comment in the comment section below, stating what you enjoyed, what you'd like to see in the future, and if you're going to be doing these draws at home, please do it three times a week, and we'll see you next week.